If changing up your diet is part of your Eat Better This Year plan, knowing your personal food allergies is an important part of not only planning your strategy, but also your menu. We talked with Ed Newsel, registered nurse practitioner at Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center about testing for food allergies. The allergies that we focus on here at the Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Center are the ones that are airborne, those that are triggered by positive food reactions, and those that are triggered by chemical type reactions. A lot of times people don't even understand that they may have a food reaction because they're looking for the throat closing up, they're looking for the hives, but it can be as something simple as after eating a certain food, uh, you get more post-nasal drip or your nose becomes stuffy. Um, it may end up being that maybe you have an upper GI problem, maybe some stomach cramping, or maybe some lower abdominal issues that can even manifest themselves as diarrhea. Um, so it's kind of difficult sometimes for the average person to even understand the fact that foods may be affecting their lifestyle. Can people that have never had allergies before, after the age of 50, develop allergies? Yes, they can. As a matter of fact, that happened to me after the age of 45. I had no allergies prior to that age, and now I do have allergies to the airborne allergens, food allergens, and chemical allergens. I tell my patients, I says, the good Lord will never kill me. He gives me all these illnesses. I've had various surgeries, but he's done that to prepare me for what I do right now so that I can better understand the patients when they come in. Ed adds that eight foods account for 90% of all food allergic reactions. They are milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, wheat, and soy. According to statistics from the Food Allergy Network, there are more than 12 million Americans with food allergies. That's one in every 25 Americans. For more information about food allergies, symptoms, and food allergy testing available at the Lady Lake offices of the Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center, visit this story along with all of January's stories online at yourhometownhealth.com.